Dr. Ingolf Turk is not your typical surgeon. At six foot three with an athletic physique, it's easy to see why he was once a member of the German Olympic decathlon team. Surgery is physical, very demanding work. For hours, uh, you are physically involved in a surgery, uh, and that requires that you're physically fit as a surgeon. But what makes Dr. Turk truly different is his skill at robotic surgery. He is convinced that robotic surgery leads to better outcomes for his patients. Robotic surgery is certainly a significant advantage over any handheld surgery. It's minimum invasive, small incisions, therefore less trauma, less pain, faster recovery. But also, more importantly, the robotic surgery allows a very precise surgery. As director of Steward Healthcare's Robotic Assisted Surgery Department, Dr. Turk is way ahead of the curve. St. E's is one of the region's busiest robotic centers for urological procedures. And Dr. Turk sees a future where most surgeries will be done robotically, including many women's procedures. There are many surgeries you can do on women robotically and avoiding the same scenario of big incisions and long recoveries. It looks cosmetically much better for women, particularly younger women, if they're undergoing robotic surgery compared to, to open surgery. How are you? Zurich, how are you? Good seeing you. Good. How you feel? I'm feeling good. As much as robotic technology helps the patient heal faster, Dr. Turk believes a close relationship between patient and doctor is imperative. Really? Charles Gill came down from Maine to St. Elizabeth's for his prostate surgery. You're awesome. Within a few hours, Dr. Turk has him up and walking, and tomorrow morning, Mr. Gill will go home. Who wants to lay in the hospital when he doesn't need to? But also the whole recovery, that they're actually feeling so much better, almost back normal within a week after surgery, rather than three or four weeks after conventional surgery. I cannot express uh, in words just how good Dr. Turk is. Jack Cook is a former junior high school principal from Norwood. I was fortunate enough that I found Dr. Turk, and there was no question in my mind that Dr. Turk saved my life. Most of all, he's grateful for the time Dr. Turk spent with him. I said, Doctor, I said, I know I'm taking a lot of your time, and I was concerned about, about that. And he looked me right in the face and he said, you have cancer, you have questions, you ask your questions. He made me feel as if I was his only patient. When patients have cancer, they're afraid. They are very concerned, they are worried, and uh, they need time with the physician to talk about their problems, issues, questions, and uh, I'm a doctor who's not cutting the time short.